In this video, I'll be telling you five great suburbs in the Portland metro area. And stick around till the end because these suburbs are going to get nicer and nicer and nicer as the video goes on. So let's get into it. All right, so here's the criteria we'll be looking at. We'll be looking at the population of each suburb, median home price, the average drive time to the center of Portland, something unique and special about each area, and whether or not they have a target. Yes, I mean the store, Target. What's the matter with you? What? It's an important metric when considering a place to move. Speaking of which, if you are planning a move up here to the Portland area and need someone to help you with the transition and with buying your next home up here, know that my team and I would absolutely welcome a call, text, or email from you to see if there's anything we can do to help. Look down below this video in the comments or in the description and you will find all of our contact information. Feel free to reach out anytime. All right starting with number five and the farthest out suburb that I'll be talking about in this video, but I love this area. We have Forest Grove. Forest Grove is a beautiful small town that is perfect for people who love a tight-knit community. It's about 30 minutes from downtown Portland, so it's far enough to feel completely detached from Portland, but close enough that you can still enjoy the many benefits of the city. The town is home to Pacific University, which is a college that has three campuses in Oregon, and Forest Grove is known for its scenic views of the Tualatin Mountains, which make it a great place to explore the outdoors. Also on that note, Henry Hag Lake is only about 10 minutes outside of Forest Grove, and they keep that lake very well stocked with many trout. It's a super fun place to fish if you have a boat, or you can easily catch many fish from the banks. According to Realtor.com, the median home value in Forest Grove is $535,000. Sorry shoppers, unfortunately there is no Target in Forest Grove. There is one about 15 minutes away in Hillsboro, so not the end of the world. Moving on to number four on our list, we have Beaverton. Beaverton is great, and it's located only about 11 minutes to the west of downtown Portland. It's so close to Portland that I almost refer to Beaverton as just the west side. It's home to Nike's world headquarters, as well as an unlimited array of shopping, a great parks and recreation organization, and it has a population of 100,000 and people, which makes Beaverton the largest suburb on our list today. The median home price in Beaverton is currently 520,000. And not that this is a compare and contrast video because I already made that video, but the median age of a Beaverton home is about half the age of Portland homes and are generally more spacious. So if you wanna live in a modest community with homes that don't feel super old and have a bit more space, and you don't wanna have to go very far to get your cleaning supplies and the newest iPhone in one spot, grab the champagne because Beaverton does in fact have a Target location right off the 217 freeway. All right, at number three, we have Happy Valley, which is located in the northwest edge of Clackamas County. This suburb is located approximately 16 minutes to the southeast of downtown Portland. It's actually more like 26 minutes. Yeah, I don't know why I said that. Just to the east of the 205 freeway and has a population of about 25,000. Happy Valley is known for its absolutely beautiful homes, many different hiking trails, and epic views of Mount Hood. The median home price of Happy Valley is right around 600,000. And you're gonna find a lot of bigger homes in Happy Valley, which are great for families. There's some topography in Happy Valley, which means that the lowest point is right around 400 feet in elevation and the highest point the top of Mount Scott which is an extinct volcano is just over 1,000 feet and so almost every home that I've ever toured in Happy Valley has absolutely incredible views of the entire valley so if you love to wake up to incredible views every day give us a call and ask us about Happy Valley and if you're wondering how far you're gonna have to drive to get your $7 t-shirts and toiletries in one spot not far because you'll be happy to know that there is, in fact, a Target location in Happy Valley. Coming in at number two, we have West Lynn. West Lynn is located approximately 22 minutes to the south of downtown Portland, and it borders not one, 
but two rivers. So it's known for some pretty scenic views. If you wanted to, you could take a boat all the way from downtown to West Lynn or vice versa. That'd be pretty sick. West Lynn has a population of about 26,000 and is home to truly some of the most beautiful houses. Due to a boom in building in the 50s through the 70s, you'll find a lot of classic ranch style homes in the area. After that, there was a brief pause in development and in the 90s, things picked back up again, which is why you'll see a lot of larger two-story homes in the area, but there's also always tons of new construction popping up, so there is something for everyone in West Lynn. The median home price in West Lynn is right around $762,000 and is home to some notable figures. For example, some of the players for the Portland Trailblazers choose to reside here in West Lynn. Aside from the absolutely beautiful homes, you've got plenty of great food options and even some wineries in the area. But for better or worse, you will not find a Target in West Lynn. Gotta go up to Happy Valley if you wanna up your travel size toothpaste inventory. And before we hit the number one suburb, which I know you are gonna love, please do everyone a favor and smash that like button on this video so that YouTube knows to recommend this video to other lovely people like yourself. And while you're at it, maybe even consider subscribing if you'd like to continue to see content like this. All right, thanks, here we go. Finally, at number one, can I get a drum roll please? We have Lake Oswego. Lake Oswego is a picturesque, almost perfect suburb about 16 minutes to the south of downtown Portland. It's known for its stunning lake views, excellent schools, and very high-end homes. Lake Oswego has a population of about 40,000, which makes it the second largest suburb on our list today. The crazy thing about Lake Oswego is that the entire lake, it's privately owned, and the residents around it are the only ones that have access access to the lake, either by living on the lake directly or by having access via an easement, depending on their address. It's about as good as it gets for the Portland area in Lake Oswego, so the median home price is right around 1.1 million. So this area is not for the faint of wallet. Is that an expression? I don't know. There are spectacular homes in Lake Oswego, and aside from the utterly beautiful lake, there are over 600 acres of parks and natural areas for you to hike around in, including part of the Tryon Creek Natural Park, which has tons of hiking and even paved running trails to explore. There are over 2,000 locally owned businesses in Lake Oswego, which means there is an endless array of dining options and excellent shopping options, so there will always be something for you to do there. The downtown area of Lake Oswego is just about as good as it gets, and as if you needed a cherry on top of this absolute gem of a suburb, someone might need to pinch you after this one because yes, I am pleased to report that Lake Oswego does in fact have a Target store. If you still need to do some research before reaching out to us, click on this video here where I talk about the differences between living in the suburbs and Portland proper. Thanks for watching.